Hello everyone and welcome to Medi Simplified. So today uh, we are going to discuss a topic which is uh, common interest of the final and pre-final year students and uh, also the students who are uh, studying abroad that what is this exam called as NEXT that is National Exit Test which is going to which is proposed to start from March 2022. So uh, till now nothing is very much clear about this exam but uh, according to the last uh, meeting conducted by NMC and what is been proposed for this exam let's have a clear idea of that in this video okay so now uh, let's talk about next in bit of detail how much we know about it so national exit test so what is going to happen in this all the Indian graduates who are in the final year and the foreign medical graduates who will pass, uh, who will complete their graduation from uh, their respective countries will have to come in India. All the FMGs plus IMG, they all will give a, a one step of next. That will be next one. Basically, next is a two-step exam. Then they will, after the next one, they will go for their internship and then they will go for next two again. So now next is in two part, next one and next two, right? So who uh, what what will who are the people who are going to give this next exam so it will be the final year prof of indian medical graduates which will be replaced by this next next one the licensing foreign medical uh, graduate exam that is fmge will be uh, replaced by this next next one and also the entrance exam for the pg right it will be also done through this next exam so it is basically they are calling it as a one nation one exam kind of process so when is this next first time going to be uh, start, uh, started? It is proposed to start in March 22, 2022. So final year prof exam, licensing exam for foreign medical graduate, entrance need PG, all will be replaced by this next one. And it will be a one nation, one exam. And when it will be conducted, it will be conducted in March 2022 as it has been proposed that it is going to start from this date. Now going further, uh, what I have told you that next is in, will be conducted in two parts, right? Next will be conducted in two parts, next one and next two. So this next two will be uh, to assess your practical skills, whereas the next one, which will which will you, will you give after your final year exam will be MCQ based exam. So next one, MCQ based exam and next two, practical skill test. In next one, you will give it after clearing your final year exam. Uh, oh, it will be replaced by your final year exam. So after final year, you will give your next one, which is an MCQ based exam, 540 MCQ will be there. So if you pass this uh, next one, then you will go for your internship. After completing your internship, you will give your next two, right? Next one will be MCQ based, next two will be practical skills assessment. Next one will be MCQ based. So after final year, you'll give your next. If you pass, you will do your internship. If And then you will give your next two, which will be a practical uh, skill exam. It will be a pass and fail exam. There will be no numbers uh, allotted to it as it is said till now. After you pass this next two, you will practice in India as a Indian medical, uh, as a doctor in India, right? So now what are the things for the student who will fail. So if you fail in next one, so you'll have to wait for a whole one year for your turn for the next one to appear in the next year. So if you fail, you will have to wait whole one year. There will be no two or three attempts in a year like we have in FMG or for AIMS or everything. So if you pass and you score a very good mark, so your those that score will be there valid for two to three years for your PG entrance, right? So from your P, from your next one score, you will get admission in your post-graduation, which will be valid for two to three years. It will be valid for two to three years, right? Okay. So uh, what if you, uh, you give your, you did your internship, Right, you uh, passed, you did your internship, you gave next two and you failed. If you fail, then you will have this two to three years. That means that you will have this two to three attempts to pass this next exam. 
next two exam right but if you will if you are not able to pass this next two exam till when your uh, next one is valid valid your next one score is valid you will have to repeat next one internship and again next two so if you cannot clear your next two before the time where till when your next one score is valid you will have to repeat this whole procedure once again so let's let's uh, do it once let's understand it once again in a simply simple manner next one will be given after your final year after passing you will do your internship after internship you will give your next two right if you fail in next one you will have to repeat next one after one year from the next one score you will get an exam admission in your post graduation this score will be valid for two or three years that is not yet clear if you pass in next after doing in after passing next one you will do your internship for one year and then you will give your next two when you will clear your next two you can practice in india as a doctor right you will practice in india as a doctor but if you fail if you fail you will have this 2 to 3 years which till when your next one will be valid and you have to clear your next two in this 2 to 3 years if you cannot clear it in this 2 to 3 years then you will have to repeat this whole process one again one second so after failing need next one will have to wait one year after not able to clear your next two in 2 to 3 attempt you will have to clear uh, go through this whole process once again from next one so this very confusing part i hope it comes in a very uh, simplified manner by the government itself right so let's go further and talk about the next one exam in detail right next two will be a practical practical skill exam that will be conducted by your university itself next one will be conducted by the national board one more thing this next one it is not just going to replace neat pg the ini cet which is conducted uh, which was conducted recently that was a common exam for aims pgi jipmer nimhams that was a one step closer towards this next exam that is this exam will also be included in next itself so not just next uh, neat pg fmg and final year cross also the central institute exams like aims pgi nimhams jipmer will be uh, will be included in the same category that is the next one and you will get your admission for your post graduation in this university too so now next one which i told you that it is a mcq based exam so there will be 540 mcqs in total in this out of uh, as the proposed plan is out of which 60% will be this problem solving 30% will be comprehension comprehension and analysis and 10% will be the recall questions 30% will be comprehension and analysis and 10% will be recall question or you can say factual question like most common thing and that so how this 450 540 question has been divided in this 540 question this exam is proposed to be conducted in 3 days right and each day will have two session uh, pre lunch and post lunch pre lunch and post lunch so Uh, on day one, pre-lunch session will have medicine, along with its allied subject that is psychiatry and derma. And this medicine and allied subjects will uh, total uh, give uh, will be uh, having one twenty questions, right? And uh, will be having one twenty questions. And post-lunch session of day one will be having pediatrics with sixty questions. Then we will go on day two. day two again will have pre and post lunch session so in pre lunch uh, there will be surgery along with it its allied subject surgery along with its allied subject that is ortho anesthesia and radio and it will have 120 question and post lunch you will have ent for 60 questions then on day three again two session pre and post lunch pre lunch will have Okay, obs gyna, and along with some part of radio, 
this is how it has been proposed and it will have 120 questions and in post lunch on day 3 you will have ophthalmology for 60 questions so if you see this you can clearly see uh, this exam is with having weightage for clinical questions but mind that you cannot clear this exam if your basic subjects are not clear because it is not that they will just ask you this clinical questions but 10% of each exam of each segment that is pre lunch and post lunch session of each day will have 10% question from this basic subjects that is anat physio biochem micro macro physio, uh, and pharma and then you will say what about psm right you cannot leave psm also because psm will have 10% in each segment too so 10% basic questions, basic subjects and 10% PSM in each part. So if you can see there are 540 questions, so PSM will uh, comprise of 54 questions as it is having 10% 10 10 of weightage in each segment. Right? So this is the schedule exam pattern, right? Three post lunch, day 1, 2, 3, one, two, three and 120 pre lunch and 60 the short subject post lunch. Now, what I want to convey you all that uh, what you should do from now or start from now for this uh, next exam that you should develop concepts from the basic subject itself. If you are a co uh, not final but pre final year student, you should de start developing your concepts from the basic subject itself. Like for studying medicine, you should know the physio and patho very well so that you can go to medicine. For, no, for knowing those surgery like and uh, su subject like surgery and ortho, you should uh, study and act very well so that you should know the structure, right? The basic subjects will have the same weightage, same importance in this exam. Try to watch, try to watch the uh, allied uh, this thing, integrated lecture videos. There are many integrated lecture videos available on the YouTube by different teachers of different uh, apps. So try to. Uh, Watch that. Try to start solving clinical MCQs. Try to start solving clinical MCQs. So why I'm saying that if you have seen the recent exams, like if what you can expect in this exam that you can expect in this neat next exam that more question will be uh, clinical and more qualified and skillful doctors will be coming in India in the for upcoming years. This is what the proposed aim of this uh, next exam is so in exam what you can expect in exam you can expect more of the clinical questions why i'm saying that because uh, if you watch the uh, if you go through the and ask the students who appeared for next uh, need 19 exam so they were saying that there were not 300 question in exam but there were 300 patients in this exam so you can understand that they are going more and more clinical. If you go and uh, ask the aspirants who gave FMG August 20 exam, right? They were, there were more and more clinical and image based question in this exam. So what I want to say is that, so let's wait uh, to get a con concrete plan about this next exam from the NMC and till, that, keep, till then keep studying uh, as much as you can and keep watching us. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you find it useful. Keep like, share and subscribe to my channel, Medi Simplified. Thank you.